AWS Marketplace eases software procurement for state government, local government, as well as education customers. Many of our customers have asked for even more information about how they're going to use an AWS Marketplace channel partner, and that's known to many of our customers in this industry as a reseller, as well as how they can comply to use a specific contract. Seeing how a transaction occurs in AWS Marketplace really helps clear up these questions. So today we're going to demonstrate the creation and acceptance of a private offer in AWS Marketplace, both from the reseller side, as well as showing you the customer's acceptance. So the first part I'm going to show you is from the reseller's perspective. Um, that's, this can be the software reseller that owns your contract. And this looks largely the same if you're buying your software directly from the software vendor themselves. So I am on the reseller, I am in my AWS management portal, and I'm gonna go ahead and click to create an offer. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is select the software vendor and the product. Um, if I'm a big nationwide reseller, I'm probably authorized to sell thousands or tens of thousands of uh, items. And so I need to select the correct one. And I'm going to enter the AWS account ID of the customer that I'm sending this to so that they receive it within their AWS portal. Next, I'm going to give the offer a name and I'm going to give it a term. So the time in which the customer or the, the buyer can have access to these licenses. This is a pretty standard thing in public procurement. Um, we don't really have that many evergreen contracts. So uh, this can go as short as one month or it can go all the way up to 60 months uh, to match whatever term of the, uh, the agreement you have outside of Marketplace. Here I am specifying the number of licenses and I am giving the discounted price that we've agreed to. So maybe I responded to a request for bids um, and was down selected and, and chosen based on uh, best value or price. I'm going to give that discounted price that I agreed to uh, right here. Next up is the payment schedule. This is very flexible um, and it can be um, you know, scheduled as all up front um, on any specified date uh, to, to be invoiced. Uh, it can be spread out over 60 payments uh, uh, over five years, and those payments don't even have to be the same for every payment. They can vary and have two payments in a month, um, whatever really is needed between the reseller and, or the software vendor and the customer can be done here. And this can be really great for public sector customers who really have to go by a set budget that doesn't change um, without, uh, without significant action within a fiscal year. So we've seen customers who really needed access to security software and couldn't wait until the new fiscal year to, to get access. Um, here, they might make a very small payment right away, but have a, you know, the, the remainder paid for when the fiscal year changes and they have access to more budget. Here uh, is probably the most important part, uh, and this is where I apply the terms and conditions that are going to govern this purchase um, as, as the reseller. Um, we're going to assume here that I am a, uh, a reseller selling to a state agency. It's going to be a state agency that uses an ASPO contract, but this can be just as easily used for a, you know, a contract as negotiated by a university for that system-wide, or it can be even a one-off, you know, just an individual bid for a very specific product where specific terms were negotiated. Whatever the contract is that needs to govern the sale, that's what you can choose here to replace commercial terms. So I'm choosing the NASPO agreement, and I'll give the offer itself an expiration date um, after which um, we would have to uh, create a new one as a reseller um, for uh, the customer to accept. Um, so there we go. This is just a review page to make sure I got everything right. I'm going to go ahead and create the offer. All right. Now I'm going to switch from the role of the reseller to the role of the customer. I received a link. It's directed me to log into my AWS account ID. So I'm all logged in and I'm in my marketplace console. I'm going to go to private offers. And here I can see all my past offers too. If I wanted to see what I've accepted in the past and when it's expiring, but I'm here to accept a new one. So I'm going to do just that. 
what I'm doing here as a customer is really verifying that everything I've negotiated with that software vendor or that reseller outside of marketplace is reflected in this offer. So I want to make sure that the term is right, not too long, not uh, shorter than we agreed to, and that the expiration and start date are also what we agreed to because this can be set out into the future, as you can see here. Um, I'm also going to uh, make sure that the pricing is right. So number of licenses are accurate and that I'm getting the discounted pricing that I'm entitled to. Also going to probably check the um, payment schedule here, make sure that's right. And I use purchase orders, so I'm going to add my purchase order here. Last thing I'm gonna check, and this is likely the most important for a lot of our uh, state and local government as well as large education customers, is uh, that the terms and conditions that I'm buying under are correct. So here um, we agreed uh, that the NASPO contract would be what we would use and I'm checking and yes, it is. Now, maybe I did um, a competitive bid after the NASPO contract. So NASPO is gonna be the base, but I thought I could get better pricing and, uh, and collected three bids and awarded the lowest price. Um, multiple, documents can be attached here. So um, the you could instruct the reseller to attach the NASPO agreement, attach um, your the award letter or their winning bid, even attach the purchase order if you already have that ready. Uh, whatever you need to show what's governing the sale can be attached right there. All right, and I'm going to click create contract. And uh, here's the other beautiful thing about AWS Marketplace. Uh, the uh, the agreement is now done, and rather than my IT team having to wait for days or even weeks to get the license keys via email, they can go and navigate and immediately download those from the software vendor's website. So just a quick recap, uh, today you saw how you can use a reseller, a, a negotiated uh, master agreement, and receive discounted pricing through a marketplace private offer. Thank you for watching this video. If you have questions or would like to contact somebody to learn more, please review the links in the description.